All right. So uh, this is going to be a, a Scorpio Sun Moon and as well rising a weekly general tarot reading February twenty fourth to uh, March first, twenty twenty. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can uh, purchase such. So that being said, moving into the uh, reading straight away here. Now the first card, which marks the topic of our Scorpio week, I'm saying our because I am a Scorpio as well. That is to be uh, the Wheel of Fortune, uh, followed by the next one here, which uh, refers to the energies feeding up the topic. And we have the Emperor. So I, it will be a quite difficult week, to be honest. Uh, and I will try to explain as best to my abilities why. Uh, so next one here, it is the challenges that we will have to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the Ten of Cups. Moving next, it is... Uh, the gifts and the blessings that uh, we can enjoy throughout the week in terms of uh, you know good fortune that is to be the uh, knight of pentacles moving next is going to be what kind of impression people around us are going to have toward us or how people are going to see us and um, no surprise here with the magician in this particular follow-up especially uh, considering the first couple of cards here and the last one which uh, re represents the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to us, so things uh, that we should do or how to approach the situation in the best way possible here, we do have the Queen of Cups. All right, so uh, as I said, the week is going to be a bit tough uh, in a sense because uh, a lot is to be expected from us to do uh, or a lot is to be expected from us as a um, reliability, if you'd like to say, so people uh, are simply going to have a very high opinion of us in general and will kind of like consider that we can do everything and that we can overcome and handle everything as well. So with that particular sense, you can expect um, if you are, if you're not having a private business, for example, or you're working for a company, uh, the work in you, that the company is to overload you with work and tasks and, and much of a project. But uh, this uh, overload itself, uh, it's kind of like can be used from your behalf to demand afterwards a, a compensation. And that is uh, seen here into the energies incorporated with the uh, uh, with the situation itself. So these energies of uh, the of the Emperor card is pointing that you are to present yourself reliable and the things around you will demand that. Additionally, it does look like that uh, you will be everywhere in the sense of that you are going to take a participation, Scorpio or we Scorpio are going to take a participation into everything and we're going to show our, uh, present ourselves or show ourselves as well, very capable to manage things, to manage crisis, to manage relationships, you know, and in generally people will have a, a lot of trust in us or kind of like they, they, their trust is going to amplify in us and that from its own accord is going to bring like said more chores more responsibilities more projects uh, uh more enterprises as well and etc etc and that is uh, that is kind of like displayed here with the wheel of fortune into the first position pointing that many things are going to come around for some or for many or many of them that is are to be very amazing okay so it's it will be exactly what we have wanted to happen to us because the wheel of fortune does represent in the majority of the cases circumstances that happen which which makes a once in a lifetime change into one's uh, into one's environment uh, either career wise or either relationship wise as well and that is considered by many as luck. You know, you do the same thing all, all over again and suddenly something happens and makes you very happy.
happy and it makes you feel very very blessed right that you do have that opportunity to change your life for the better but in general scheme of things the wheel of fortune represents a lot of activities a lot of deeds like I said a lot of enterprises a lot of projects etc etc and you have to be or we have to be in tune and we need to be able to follow on every single one of these and that's why the week is going to be a bit tough because it's highly unlikely that we're going to face boredom or a um how can i say it a time to pay attention to ourselves if you will but instead you know we have to constantly keep up with the motion of the uh of the daily routine However, like I said, this isn't going to come without rewards at the end. So it does depend, Scorpio, how much you want to invest. And according to it, reciprocally, you are going to pull out of it as a dividend afterwards. So what, we, what will be here the real challenge of the uh, situation? And we do have the 10 of cups. So <clears throat> where do I start from with the 10 of cups? So it's it's like ten of cups represents two things it either represents that one has to be happy of the circumstances around for example to be happy that has a family to be happy that has a job you know to be happy of its current position that that is one way how you can look at the ten of, uh, of the ten of uh, cups the other way it is this trait of the human nature that no matter how much you want you 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 have you want more and in our case here it is um, it is the second version that uh, we need to kind of like start aiming or planning for a bigger things to happen to us or for us to accomplish and establish as well and that comes from the emperor as the energy because the emperor kind of like situates on uh, over his own empire if you will so that being said uh, one may kind of try to consolidate the current stage of their relationship or the current stage of their career instead of you know trying to sprawl on that particular stage of relationship or career and that is to be the challenge for us here Scorpio to try to even push ourselves a little bit further a little bit more and that kind of like exerts exerts even more complexity upon uh, upon our week and upon the things that we gotta do as well throughout the week itself <clears throat> So uh, what my point here with the Ten of Cups is that if we think that we have achieved the very maximum capacity we are capable of, we can push ourselves a little bit further than that as well. So next one uh, is going to be the gifts and the blessings that uh, Taro is offering to us. And not Taro, but the universe is offering to us and they're represented by the Knight of Pentacles uh, through the Tarot card. So that is an individual. Okay. And uh, for many of us, it could be a next lover, really, because the Knights of Pentacles is an individual who likes to jump into the old things. OK, so like an old love or a, a, an old job as well, old endeavors and etc, etc, because they kind of like the people who are driven only by the things that they want, that they are finding worth their while. OK, and for one other or another reason, they may kind of have that feeling that they have missed their chance back in the days and may come throughout uh, this particular week to kind of seek a redemption, if you will, or a, a second chance. But nonetheless, here, the Knights of Pentacles, it is a, um, like I said, person that we're going to be blessed to have a cooperation with. These people, like I said, they are completely devoted to what they want. In this case, us as a Scorpio, it could be a business partner, you know, once again, it could be an ex. Very, very possibly, uh, very, very possible to be an ex. Uh, it could be as well a friend that we have missed for uh, quite some time and now they are back in the t in, in town, you know, and we get to socialize together. But uh, the, Knights of, uh, the Knights of Pentacles, they like to keep the things simple, okay? So there won't be any dramas, any dilemmas, any, uh, how can I say it, any uh, kind of like, uh, it's not even a biased expectations, it's more like a... Uh, uh, a vague expectations of the future being baffled of what is going of what that person wants and what kind of what kind of intentions that person has uh, and uh, 
what is the purpose of this uh, person coming around to charge us with positive vibes to charge us with positive energies because this is what the knight of pentacles does as gifts and blessings now next one here it is what kind of impression we're going to leave into the people around we do have uh, the um magician card so the magician card here the people are going to see us like said very capable this is uh, coming from the very first couple of cards people are going to see us as a people as a uh, individuals with a lot of of capacity but yet capacity that has not been unfolded and probably this is going to be the reason why we may be pushed harp, uh, harped on into our career you know it's like it will seem like our boss is pushing us to our outer limits okay or uh, into our relationship our partner is kind of like scraping down down our nerves for this and for that and that is for reason being so we can unfold our potential or, or the very least so we can see where our potential lies but once that is overcome itself people are going to be very happy with us because they are going to see how determined we are to make things happen either career wise or our either relationship wise and additionally to that i don't know how to say it in english but people are going to see us as someone who likes to explain who likes to negotiate who likes to talk in the sense of that you know you 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 or we are gonna give are, are gonna do as best as we can to make our point across into our social circle relationship or a uh, uh, a career environment and the final one here it is uh, the guidance that Sarah is offering now we do have the queen of uh, cups into that position and the queen of cups is a guidance point that we have to take our time uh, in a sense of that whatever we are to take as an enterprise as we saw at the start where there are going to be many of them all right but ultimately most of them uh, by the end of the week are going to be either accomplished or either they are going to be um dropped off because there won't be any reason from them to to to, to proceed forward but at the very initial stage all right we have to give our attention to every single of those enterprises and at the end the queen of cups here urges us to situate ourselves only upon these that are giving us a, a long-term prosperity meaning a long-term relationship for example so instead of going from the for the passionate one we have to go for the one that breeds reliability all right instead of going for the quick money we have to go for the stable job and so on and so forth this is what the queen of cups kind of like uh, expresses and if uh, uh, if you meet an ex you know or kind of like you start enter um, empathize with the person that you see kind of like a mutual interest from one another the queen of cups in these cases urges us to express our emotions to just say it out loud you know are we liking that person or are we not liking that person it's all about that cherishing the dreams and not the dreams the feelings excuse me of your heart and that way you are to find yourself transformed so that being said scorpio this was this was our weekly tarot reading february 24th to march 1st 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website from which you can purchase such hopefully we're gonna see each other around until then bye